you can see this side did excellent. <laughs> the first side, I had a little goof up. And you can see it right there. That's okay, I'm just going to hit it on the belt sander. <clears throat> see the cut there on this one I just let it go all the way through there all right one more to go first split collar. Let's see if it fits. That one's going.
That's the uh, that's the last piece that I got to uh, counterboard there for the split collars. Okay, so here's the split lock sleeves that you've been seeing me work on. This is the thick one that's three inch thick. This is a three quarter, and then we got we got one more three quarter right here. For a total of three, and what I figure I'd do, I'm just uh, make sure they all fit, which they have been. What I'll do is uh, let me grab some more parts, and we'll do a little mock-up of uh, you know, how all these parts go together. Be right back. Okay. So here's all your split collars that go on, and you see I got them loose. You can adjust these where you want to on the shaft, and then of course tighten them up, or you can take them off, completely off the shaft, and that's why they're split, is so that when it's in service and it's already hooked up, 
you don't have to take this whole clevis off to get, remove one of these spacers. And so it's adjustable. Alright, can you see here, this is that big bronze clevis that I made. Alright, and it's threaded, this, this is all one solid piece, and it goes all the way through. And then this is bored and threaded to fit this rod here. And what I did was just split it here, drill and tapped it for a bolt. And what this does will pinch the threads so that this will lock on here. And the, the user can adjust this block by loosening the pinch bolt and spinning it to adjust it on the clevis and adjust these to where you, they want the stop point of the cylinder. It's a stroke limiter is what it is. So uh, I'm going to see, this thing is pretty heavy, I'm going to see if I can get it started on the rod here. screwed on there okay I got her got her on there I'm just bring it bring it all the way up to the shoulder all right and then that'll get locked there and your block what you can do is adjust your block here on the rod eye and you'll have these adjusted like so and like I said, I don't know why there's so many. I think it's for adding, removing or adding as needed for the for the machine itself. And if they need to adjust the stroke a little, you can turn that, you know, whatever distance you want there. Bring those back up, lock them in. Okay. And uh, my pinch bolt works good. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's the, that's the rod eye coming off. So that works, that pinches the threads there. So, so anyway, that's the rod end of the cylinder there. And I will give you guys another shot uh, once the cylinder is put together also, see what it looks like.